In Horizon Forbidden West, putting enemies in a vulnerable state by applying the correct status is the most important element of gameplay. Scan enemies with your focus to reveal their weaknesses. This cloaked enemy that you can barely see in the distance is a challenging opponent, but by applying the correct status, you can put any enemy in Horizon Forbidden West in a vulnerable state, making them much easier to deal with when following up with other damage types. The second key gameplay element in Horizon Forbidden West is removing components from enemies. The machines shown here have a powerful laser cannon mounted on their backs, which you can remove to make them easier to manage. When scanning enemies with your focus, you can tag specific spots on each enemy to target their weaknesses more easily. Another aspect of removing components from enemies is removing armor plating to expose weak points. By removing the armor from either or both of these canisters, you reveal a weak point. Applying the right type of elemental damage to a weak point can trigger a massive elemental explosion. Follow attacks like these with explosive damage for a quick kill. Removing a human enemy's helmet will make Vilm more vulnerable to headshot damage. Tear blast arrows are the most effective way to remove components and armor. Even if you like to lay some traps down first, most encounters should start with removing components and weapons from a distance once you're ready to engage. Aloy makes a comment here telling us that this enemy is strong against fire, but by scanning it we can see the blaze canisters on it are weak to fire. You can hit those canisters with fire damage to cause a massive elemental explosion. Oh yeah, and uh, pro tip, traps are great for crowd control. Some enemies have weak points that are hard to hit, but aren't actually covered by any armor. These are generally a high risk, high reward target. Once you get the hang of applying the correct statuses, certain status effects can be stacked to devastating effect. For example, in this clip I open by using tear damage to remove deadly weapons and deal massive damage. Then I apply acid damage to weaken its armor plating and finally, I finish it off with explosive damage for a quick kill. Once you have applied a status that the enemy is weak to, explosive damage is a great way to finish them off. Some advanced enemies will be resistant to most elemental damage types. However, at the time of this recording, I am not aware of any enemies that have resistances to adhesive or explosive damage. Traps are another tool available to Aloy, and they are also an excellent way to apply statuses, making enemies more vulnerable to explosive damage finishing moves. Many people forget that smoke bombs even exist. But, when used correctly, they can be a powerful tool for crowd control. They can also be used to make a tactical retreat and run away bravely. This next tip isn't stealth attacks let you kill enemies silently. The tip is that you should be using stealth attacks because they allow you to get kills using fewer resources. Stealth kills are the best way to farm shards and crafting materials. To help you maintain stealth at night, Tall grass will always have fireflies nearby. Look out for the fireflies. Firing a weapon while sliding or jumping will slow down time and increase accuracy. Just like stealth, use it often. It is important to gather crafting resources from animals too. The only problem is that the physics are so good. Light refraction on water is a problem just like when bow and spear fishing in real life. Area of effect damage is the easiest way to hit them. Pro tip, 
use explosives. All right, folks, I hope you found at least one or two of these tips somewhat useful and look out for more in the future. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.